have been around for over a decade, but only now do they have their own home. Join me as I explore the Red Bulls' new stadium only on the Game 365. New York is known as a worldly city. It is at the forefront of fashion and a culinary capital. But it is not, or not yet, the soccer center of the world. Now, however, with the building of a new stadium, Red Bull Arena, Major League Soccer's New York Red Bulls are hoping that will change. Give us a, the rundown on the stadium, the attractiveness of the stadium. Well, you know, it's a very European design, and if you're a fan of football, as they call it in Europe, uh, this stadium is going to look very familiar to you. Uh, what I like most about it is from the spectator's point of view, it doesn't really get any better. Your line of sight, your proximity to the field can't really be improved. Just sitting there in your seat looking down at that field, it cannot get any better. What is the potential that this building has for soccer? Now this will be our ninth soccer specific stadium, but without doubt Red Bull Arena is uh, the best new building in the world. This isn't just great for Major League Soccer, but there will not be another building of this size that could compare anywhere in Europe, in Latin America, in Asia. So the fact that in Major League Soccer in the New York metropolitan area, we have this state of the art facility will help take this sport to another level. Our fans here in the New York area have been waiting for this for a decade and a half. So good, good thing for the league and a good thing for the sport. Richards racing on a loose ball. Dan Richards, shot goal! Two nothing. Red the new stadium will see 25,000 people and be a soccer-centric building through and through. An experience that focuses on the world's most popular game will be different for both Red Bulls fans and the players who became used to playing in cavernous giant stadium. When you were in giant stadium, did you feel like it was a temporary home? You might move tomorrow. Well, after two or three years, it de definitely felt like giant stadium was our home. Uh, you know, like I said, it used to be a running joke. Uh, there could be 25,000 people there, which was nice, but it's a big stadium. But some Wednesday night games, you know, I used to tell my mother I, to keep it down because I could hear her up in the upper level. <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, it, it, it did originally feel like, feel like it was our home giant stadium, but the more that uh, this stadium started coming into fruition, uh, it realized that that was just a temporary stopping point for us. Mike, this new stadium, what's it mean to the players? Honestly, I really couldn't describe it in words. Uh, giant Stadium seemed like we were a small fish in a big pond. Mm -hmm. You know, even if we, if we were able to get 20, 25,000 to a game, it looked like 1,000 people in that big stadium. Uh, it, it really gives us a name and an identity. It's our home. It's our arena. We're not playing in a football stadium. We're not playing anywhere else but our own home. Does this now take soccer and put it on the same level in the perception field with the other sports? I think, uh, without a doubt, you can't deny that. Uh, for an organization like Red Bull to invest the money that they have in a stadium like this, uh, no longer are people think, wondering if the MLS is going to last. The new structure hopes to make an impact with Americans, but it has also impressed Eric Soler, who played soccer in Europe and is now the sporting director and general manager of Red Bull New York. You're the GM. You get this beautiful stadium. How do you like the pressure of building a team, a winning team? Well, first of all, if you have been involved in soccer professionally for around about 32 years now, since I started playing, and I've been an owner of a team, and I've been an agent, and I've also been coaching for a while, and now I'm the GM here. Well, soccer is all about uh, pressure, and it's all about winning. That's, that's why you're in it. So, you know, I like the challenge uh, of bringing a sort of new area to this uh, fantastic air, uh, city, New York and the New York area. And uh, with this new home that we have, which is, uh, in my opinion, uh, probably the best stadium I've ever seen in this size. 
Perhaps most importantly, though, the stadium was built for the supporters of the Red Bulls. It was erected so that the team can build a permanent, thriving fan base. We know that you build it, they will come, but they'll come once. And you have to do everything else uh, better than everybody else in the market, not just in MLS, but in this market. And that's what our marching orders have been to our staff. We can get them here once. We can sell them once on the building. But after that, it's, it's really their experience when they're here. The people watching this show that are soccer fans, if they're going to come out to this park, what would you tell them to do when they came out here? Our goal has been to build a soccer-specific stadium that is just that. And we've done that. We've delivered the, the building that requires the best possible game day experience. Now it's just delivering on their end of the bargain and being passionate and loving this team and supporting your club and being loud and, and singing your songs as they do in the rest of the world. This is a seminal moment for this organization and I think for uh, the passionate soccer fan in this area. Big Apple Soccer, that's next on The Game 365. The Game 365 is brought to you by Mizuno, the world's number one baseball company, because the best players demand the best equipment.